Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here. Finally getting into another land battle. Haven't done a land battle in a little bit. A little bit. Probably about, I don't know, a couple weeks. Maybe a little longer. But alright, let's get this on slow motion because land battles usually... Well, I mean, there's a lot of cavalry. There's a lot of cavalry, but they're kind of moving slow. So maybe we can leave it on play. Alright, so let's take a look at the armies here. First, we have Parthia being commanded by Curved Bubbles, who is a Twitch, U uh, Twitch Total War guy or total war twitch guy i guess i should say it that way i will make sure to put the link for his twitch down in the, the uh, description below he has brought with him nine units of hillman uh general is a royal cataphract he has six noble blood cavalry two indian war elephants and two units of the sarmatian horse archers moving over to the center army here his first ally we have epris being commanded by the none other gorm mjolnir one of the other backseat generals his channel is always represented in the description below. He has brought with him four units of pikemen, three Sam Knight warriors, two Thoreo spears. General is a Hellenic royal cavalry. He has four slingers, three horse skirmishers, or skirmisher cavalry, sorry, one Aspis companion cavalry, and one citizen cavalry. Does look like we're kind of getting ready to maybe start off here. I'm, uh, Epirus is kind of moving up a little bit here in the middle, leaving his flanks open a little bit, but nothing crazy just yet. Nothing crazy just yet. Uh, then we do have Egypt over here being commanded by Decibel, and he has brought six units of Nubian spearmen, two Levy Thoreo spears, four Ptolemaic cavalry, two Egyptian cavalry, um, two citizen cavalry, four Egyptian slingers, and I believe his general is one of the Ptolemaic cavalry right there. Getting in onto the opposite side of the battlefield, we will take a look at Massilia here first, being commanded by the Rolling Tide, and he has brought eight units of Thorax swordsmen, four hoplites, five Massilian cavalry, one of those being his general, and three Celtic slingers. Center army we have here is Swaby being commanded, commanded by Lorenzen. I think it's Lorenzen. Uh, he has brought with him four units of Swordmasters, four Club Levy, three Spear Wall, two Spear Levy. General is a wooden as Spear, four Kimberly Bow Women, and two Germanic Scout Riders. And then finally, on the right end here, we have a Seleucid being commanded by Hiker Beck. And he has brought four units of Hillmen, two pikemen, two levy pikemen, two Thoreo spear. I'm sorry, two thorax swordsmen. General is a Hellenic royal guard, I think it is, or Hellenic cataphract. Sorry, general is a Hellenic cataphract. Three median cavalry, two Azat knights, and two units of the Eastern spearmen. But all right, a lot of uh, horse skirmishers doing their job so far. Firing in, really chipping down this swordsman unit. I mean, this Hillman unit, pretty nicely. I mean, I don't really know why we're wasting ammo on Hillman. They do have javelins, but... Mm, I mean, maybe because so much cavalry is right here. I'm also not very uh, a very large um, field battle player myself, so... Oh, God. The Rayo Spears taking some serious losses right now. Oh, my God. In the center, yeah, they are getting chopped down. Down to 81 men. Another unit on the Thoreo Spears on the opposite side here. Now getting charged into Spear Levy. Right behind them, a unit of Club Levy now coming in. So two Levies coming in onto that one unit of the Thoreo Spears. So far, Egypt has kept his forces back. Started to move up a unit of Le Levy Thoreo Spears way out there on the flank. But in the center, the uh, Slingers here for Epirus not standing up very well against the archers there of the Kimberly Bowwomen of Swaby. But back out on the other side, we do have some hillmen that have come in to take on some hillmen. And then some media cavalry making their way in. They are going to just plow right into that hillman unit for Parthia. Who's some thorax swords are making their way over here as well. Double blood cavalry going to pull away. Going to continue allowing their mercenary Sarmatian horses to get some shots off. And in the center here, we have all of these hillmen. I mean, that's all Parthia has melee-wise. I'm pretty sure it was just all hillmen. So he's going to be relying a lot on his uh, cavalry and those elephants. I'm assuming a lot of it is going to be dependent on those elephants. But here we go. More infantry charging in. Noble Blood Cavalry coming away from a charge. We actually have some of the Skirmisher Cavalry here for Epirus. Give it some good hands. A good hand, I should say, over here firing in onto the Seleucid Median Cavalry. Actually also getting some really good shots. Unit of Swordmasters coming around, getting a rear charge in onto the back of the Sam Knights, which is definitely going to be huge right off the bat to try and get rid of the Sam Knights. But uh, yeah, now the Swordmasters are getting shot pretty much right in the back. And now we also have the Empress General. The Hellenic Royal Cavalry General has busted through the lines. 
And I'm not sure exactly where he's going. Looks like he's maybe going to charge in onto the back of his club levy. Maybe that's where he's going. Not entirely sure. Got a little bit of a charge on that club levy unit. Maybe he's just going to come around to try and charge in onto the back of the uh, Seleucid lines. I mean, this is a fantastic opportunity right here. Just get right into all those archers. Well, at least that one unit of archers right there. He could start tripping his way down the line, also getting into the back of all those pikemen. Let's swing down to the opposite side. Egypt and uh, Massilia really have not done much yet. We have one unit of the Egyptian Nubian spearmen involved so far in the fighting. A lot of the cavalry continuing to make their way around the flank of the Massilian troops. He has lined up. He's got all of his thorax swordsmen right there. Two units of his hoplites there touching his flank. And he also has some more of the hoplites in the back line there protecting his archers and general. Other four units of cavalry just kind of hanging out over there on the side. Could definitely be getting involved trying to help his allies out because it looks like Swaby here for right now is actually getting pretty decimated in the middle. I mean, that's what it looks like. Noble Blood Cavalry getting another good charge onto the Spear Levy. Spear Levy's going to turn around and get a charge onto the back of the Pikeman. But by doing that, they're going to just open their backs again and get shot in the back here. Pikeman starting to take some losses. They're actually realize that they're not fighting anything anymore, so I think he's going to stand them up, maybe try and reform them. We have another unit of the Skirmisher Cavalry there for Empress. Looks like they got a little bit of a charge in there. Maybe they got a little bit too close with the uh, javelin throwing, but they are in the rear lines. We actually have some dogs, Malosian dogs running around. Did not even see them in the original army composition there. I missed them. Did miss saying that name, so I apologize for that. Uh, 85 kills so far. Let's get back down over on the other side. Seleucid and Epirus. Elephants are involved, and they are stomping down on an Eastern Spearman unit. 156 kills for that unit. Where is the other unit of elephants? Are they already gone? Nope, there they are, right there in the center. And they are making their way towards some Swordmasters of Swaby. Oh, boy, Kenby Bowman, you better start firing right there. There you go, fire shot and immediately out of control. That's the way you do it. Javelin unit coming in, getting a nice toss. Oh, God, but the elephant's turning, now getting into the pikemen of Epirus. We do actually have some of the Massilian cavalry finally getting involved. Actually, four, all four of them came out. Very nice. Very nicely done. We actually have the Egyptian cavalry coming in the backside, though, over here. Two units of Sisa cavalry, one unit of the Egyptian cavalry. Still, Massilian not moving. So Massilia is just holding the line strong here, not willing to give up his position at all. Seleucid back down over on the other side with Parthius starting to break down some of the units, getting a good charge there with that Azat Knight. It's almost 200 kills with the Azat Knight. Very nicely done there. I mean, he's just trampling down on some of the uh, Hillman and Noble Blood Cavalry, but very nicely done there. Other unit of Thor. Oh, we got a big charge here. Oh, that was a Cataphract General. Yes, it was. Hellenic Cataphract General, 131 kills. Charging on to some Noble Blood Cavalry. Noble, um, and now we have the, uh, sorry, the Levy Pikemen now coming in. And they are going to start chopping down this Noble Blood Cavalry. It's going to need to get them out of there. But they're kind of they're kind of stuck in. They're kind of stuck in. I mean, he could try. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There's nowhere for them to go now. There comes this way. Yeah, and there's two pikes right there. So, the, unfortunately, that Noble Blood Cavalry is going to be annihilated and ripped off the battlefield here. 20 kills total for them so far. Swaby over here still fighting it out. He's actually sent some of his units over in this direction. Spearwall, unit of Swordmasters, the Swordmaster General, and the other unit of Swordmasters all charging over here into the Egyptian front line. Going to probably do a decent amount of damage against these Nubian Bowmen. But again, Epirus with his Slingers right there. 78 closing in on 100 kills. Getting some really good shots in onto the back of these Swordmasters. Yes, did they just broke? Did they just break? They did. So Egypt's front line starting to suffer the wrath of these Swaby units that are getting away. Another unit of Noble Blood Cavalry coming around. I wonder if they're going to try and charge in onto the back. We also have this Ptolemaic Cavalry General. A Ptolemaic Cavalry just still running around. And look at this. Seleucid now being cut off from his ally. Wow. That's huge. Look at that. So much of the Seleucid force is still over there. And they are just pulling away from him. Going to get into the rest of the armies over here. That's actually a really awesome move. Really awesome move. I mean, he does still have some cavalry left over, though. 
Azat Knights and the Hellenic Cavalry General. Or Hellenic Cataphract General, I should say. But very that's actually really cool to see. I did not expect seeing the uh, Parthia just pulling away like that. It's actually really cool. Good idea. Good idea. We actually have the elephants in here again. 183 kills. But unfortunately, they are surrounded by some hoplites there of Massilia. So they will not, probably won't be around much longer. Oh, they broke. Yeah, they broke. Okay, I was like, why are they running away? Ooh, geez. Wow. Egypt Cavalry General smashing into the back. Neither Egypt Cavalry General. Egypt Cavalry charging in onto the back of the Swaby General. That's what I was meaning to say there. Wow, what a massive charge. Another massive charge over here as well. Tolmei Cavalry hammering onto the back of that spear wall. Swordmaster there. I'm wondering what Massili is doing. I don't know why he's not moving his army at all. He's kind of just sitting here. I mean, he's got a lot of thorax that are just standing here. But again, I'm not trying to talk crap or anything like that. I'm not a feel I'm not a pitch battle player very often, at least very not very very not often a pitch player. So uh Never will I ever try and talk crap about a game mode that I don't really play. So I'm just confused why he hasn't moved to help his ally at all. Uh, but Swordmasters here, unfortunately, I mean, they did great. 245, almost 250 kills. They are just still ripping through these Nubian bowmen there for Egypt. But now they are really getting hammered again. Egyptian Slingers really doing a number on this Swordmaster unit. Dropping them down. Starting to have them waver. That is pretty rough. We actually had a little bit of friendly fire right there. Trying to charge in. Are they going to make it? They are. Their morale has balanced out again. And they actually are going to get into this Nubian Spearman unit. But again, these slingers right here could have an absolute fantastic volley in onto the side there. General is dead for Swaby. That is, that is pretty rough. That is pretty rough. All right, so now Massilia is now going to march his army all the way back over here to meet up with the Seleucid force. We do have one of the units of Egyptian cavalry in the rear lines, currently just getting absolutely mauled. Massilian cavalry, Hellenic cataphract general, and an Azat knight is go. Oh god, and the Massilian general. Massilian general wanted some kills too. Damn it, I gotta get some me some kills. Gotta get me some kills. There you go. Three, four kills. Six, seven. Really? Eight. Nine, ten. Wow. Wow. Scraps from the table right there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. So we do have a lot of the uh, cavalry, the horse cavalry and the slinger units for Parthia and Epirus making their way around on the flank. Not a lot left from uh, Epirus. He's still got his two units of pikemen. Got some of his citizen cavalry. He's actually his general still alive. I think his general still alive. Yeah. Does look like his general is still alive. So Lucid now going to try and hold off on the corners here. Slingers still have ammo? Yeah, they do. 87 kills for that unit. 96 kills for that unit. This unit here with only 43. So there you go. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Tricking the Seleucid units to chase down the cavalry. Getting some good shots in onto the backs with that unit of slings right there. Very nice. I wonder if the Parthian or uh, skirmisher was... Horse skirmishers, I should say. Horse archers. Oh, these are horse archers. I thought they said horse skirmishers before. Was that a different unit? Maybe it was a different unit. Hopefully, they still have ammo. That would be great if they still had ammo. Looks like they do. They all have their bows in their hands. This would be perfect for them to be firing at. Shoot at these pikes as they're running away. We have the Massilian Cavalry General all the way back here on the line by himself. And oh my god. Noble Blood and two units of Ptolemaic Cavalry coming in. You can see right there, Egypt is planning to surround while the Noble Blood Cavalry are just going to charge right into the Massilian General. Oh, he probably just got the alert. Our general is under attack, and there's really not much he's going to be able to do. There's really not a whole lot he's going to be able to do. Charge, boys, charge. There comes the up. One of the units of Ptolemy coming in on the backside here. And the other unit going to charge in there. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the end of the Massilian Cavalry General. Especially with this charge. Because this is where the majority of the uh, general unit is. So if he gets that charge off. Come on. What are you doing? Charge. Charge. What are you doing? Double click. Go. There you go. Yeah, he's going to charge. That's going to be the end. 
The Cellier Cavalry General way out over here. I'm not sure why he pulled them all the way back here. But again, huge charge there. And he is going to be out of here. Massive, 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 massive. Speaking of massive, we actually have some general combat going on here. Hellenic Royal Cavalry taking on Hellenic Cataphract. Epirus and Seleucid. Epirus currently winning there. They're going to win that fight. They're going to hold on. Barely going to hold on. Oh, uh, we got the Slinger Fire. They're coming in and helping out. Another unit of the Ptolemaic Cavalry rumbling around back over here. Looks like the front of the Egyptian line sends one unit. Yeah, one unit right there. Levy, Thoreo, Spears still in that fight. But look at what the Massilian team and the uh, Seleucid team are doing now. Kind of boxing up. We actually have the Indian War Elephants in the fight. 246 kills. Very nicely done. And that is still a huge unit of Elephants. Going to be doing a lot of damage. We did see the other unit of Elephants get dropped off there. But big time kills. Big time kills. 258. Very nicely done. These three units of Cavalry have now been freed up. So they're going to start making their way over here. Here comes the Lenic General. Lenic Royal Cavalry General. Going to try and get a charge in. No, wow, what a stop. Turned on a dime. Oh, he's going to try and break through here. Yep, he's going to try and walk right through the center and get into the back of the pikes. Oh, my God, he's actually going to do it. Yep, got right through that line and onto the back of the levee pikeman. And my guess is that he's going to pull back, charge in here, and maybe try and get out. Or nope, 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 nope. He's just going to charge straight across into the slingers while more noble blood cavalry comes in with another massive charge now i think the hellenic general might be dead maybe that's why he was just throwing him in there or maybe he just saw the opportunity i don't know 12 general nearby still the general is alive no way well it's probably not going to be alive much longer here though he kind of got caught up on this levy pikeman unit but nice charge there in onto the back of that pikeman unit and now he's going to come out and get another big charge in onto the back of these thorax. 155 for the Hellenic Royal Cavalry General there for Epirus. Big time battle. Where are those elephants? Are they still in the mix? They are still in the mix over here. Going out of control. 411 kills. And they're about to wrap around again. Are they going to get into more of these thorax? Oh my god, they are. They are. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Not what you want to see. More cavalry charging in there again as well. Elephants turning away. Still going out of control though. They might actually be getting some kills on the Ptolemaic and the uh, citizen Egyptian cavalry. Sorry. They are still out of control. 419 kills though. Massive amount of kills. That Egyptian Egypt Pepper's general is still rolling around. How is he still alive? How many are left? Three. There's three of them left in the general unit. That's insane. That is insane. But yeah, these elephants really cleaning up. Almost 450. Back under uh, back under control for the player now. He's going to be able to bring them right back in. Get it onto the back of these thorax swordsmen here. And it looks like that's where he's going. Looks like he's just going to dive them right back in here. Oh yeah, look at that. Pushing these thorax swordsmen around like they're nothing. Oh. oh, look at that guy. He's like, oh my god. And the elephant's just going to rumble right through them. Oh, he's got to be getting close to five. Oh, 459, 460. He's still got plenty of time on the battlefield. He might be able to get 500 with that elephant unit. He just might be able to get 500. Royal Cataphract right there. Uh, Parthian General, sorry, 251. A lot of damage being done. Now let's just the Ptolemaic Cavalry just charging into everything. The elephant's getting in on top of everything as well. 493. Come on. Seven more. Seven more elephants. Let's go. Six. Come on. You got Thorax. Look at these guys pushing that elephant body across the ground. Beast 504. There you go. Another Ptolemaic Cav general. Uh, Ptolemaic Cav charge in onto the back of the Thorax. So it's the Empress general still there. One dude. There he goes. Okay, he broke. But he didn't die. He's right there. He's still alive. Run. Nope. He's staying in the fight. He's staying in the fight. Come on. Oh, what a backhand. Dude was like the Hulk right there. There he goes. Now he's going to retreat away. Is he? Are you actually leaving? 
Yeah, he's leaving. He's going home. Lake Road Cavalry. Nope, he's still he's kind of like hanging out. He's like, I want to go, but I don't want to go. I want to go, but I don't want to go. Back in the center, Indian War Elephants just cleaned up. Yeah, really, really massive amount of damage. Great job there with the Elephants. Climbing up to 550. Minute five left in the battle, and we're just going to fast forward the rest of this one out. Elephants starting to get dropped, though. 600 kills even on... Nope, sorry. 609, 612. 620. Can he get to 650 in 10 seconds? I doubt it. I don't know. Close. Costly victory, though. Let's take a look at the ending army compositions. Like I said, the battle was sent in here by Decibel, who was playing as Egypt. So, dude, thank you very much for sending this battle in. Uh, he ended up with 1,602 kills, 72 with the general. Ptolemaic Cav, 3979. Uh, now, we did. They, they were not playing with the ultra sized units. It was just on large units. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. Uh, but Egyptian Cavalry, 112. Ptolemaic. Uh, yeah, the rest of the total make 278, 122, 294. Very nicely done. Uh, Slingers, one unit there, 96, 93, 100. And the rest of his front line, I mean, I, it looked like he just kind of did the same thing that uh, that uh, Parthia did. Leaned a lot on his range, a lot on his ranged units and his uh, cavalry. Let's get into taking a look at Parthia here. 2,300 even. Nice amount of kills. 347 for the general elephants. Look at that. 624, 184. Very nicely done. Sarmatian horse archers, 110, 112. Noble blood cavalry, 124, 215. And is Hillman anybody? Yeah, one unit there. 88 kills, 64, 62. So some of them doing okay. And then we have Gorm Mjolnir here, 1278, playing as Empress, 196 with his general. Getting in with the. Oh, there was, was that. Skirmisher cavalry was from Empress. I knew I saw it. I just couldn't remember who had it. Uh, Sam Knight's not doing very well. One unit there, 99, 79. Uh, 133 with the Mausolean Dogs. Malosian? I think it's Malosian Dog? Or Malos Malosian? I don't know how to say it. Uh, his Pike's not really getting a whole lot. Well, one unit there with, uh, 85. So he did pretty good. Then we get in with Rolling Tide playing as Massilia. Again, I'm not sure why he didn't really move. Uh, again, I'm not trying to talk crap or, or be a jerk or anything like that. I just don't know why he didn't really move very much at all uh his Massilian cavalry though some of them doing okay one unit there 46 uh 36 i mean like i said we were only on large numbers so it wasn't ultra units so you weren't having 160 in the infantry units only had 120 uh his slingers 65 66 68 hoplites 84 uh some of his thorax there we go 122 128 144 pretty good job with those boys hiker back here with seleucid thir uh, 1439 199, 191 on his general, as at Knights, 355. Uh, his median cavalry, one unit there with 87. Now, only two units arranged. Wow, only two units arranged. Uh, his Hillman line, one, look at that, one Hillman, 110 kills. Nicely done there. Uh, getting into his pikemen, though. Levy pikemen, 107. Regular pikemen, 85. Thorax swords, 131 and 70. And then we have Lorenzen here, 1598, the most kills for this team. Um... His uh, Wooden Death Spear General, 178. Germanic Scout Rider is not a whole lot, but his archers, look at that, 148. Very nice. I think that's the, one of the highest range units that we've had in this battle total. It was 148. I think it was. Yeah, it was 148 kills. Very nicely done with that one unit of Kimberly Bow Women. Uh, Club Levy, 48. Getting into his Spear Levy, not a whole lot. Spear Wall, 57, 60, 90. Swordmasters, 111, 296, 152, 120. I was kind of, that was pretty much a given right there for the Swordmasters, honestly. Uh, but there you go, guys. End of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully you did enjoy. Make sure to check out Curve Bubble's uh, Twitch channel, Gore Mjolnir, the other Backseat Generals. Everybody's links are down there, guys. Make sure to get over there and check them out. Check out the uh, Hungry Wolves Discord and the other links that are down there. But have a good rest of your day, guys. Stay safe, and as always, until the next one. Hey, guys. I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.